It's like a sauna in here. It's funny. That's You're funny. a funny guy. Yeah, I never heard that before. So you going to the funeral? Well, you think I should? What, are you kidding? It's a golden opportunity to advance the relationship. She's crying. You put your arm around her and console her. You're the consolation guy. I'm the consolation guy. Consolation guy is big. You okay in here? Why is it so hot in here? How can they sleep like this? It's only for three days. Today's over, then we have tomorrow. We leave on Sunday. It's one day, really. <laughs> oh, man, but it's with this bar. It's right in my back. It's killing me. Oh, you want to switch? I'm sleeping on a love seat. I got my feet up in the air like I'm in a space capsule. You're never going to fall asleep. Oh, no, don't say that. You'll jinx me. <laughs> Conditioning on. They're nuts with temperature. <laughs> this bar is breaking my back. It's making a dent. How about that guy writing a check for 1945? I'm sweating here. I'm in bed, sweating. It's one day. Half a day, really. I mean, you subtract showers and meals. It's, it's like 20 minutes. It'll go by like that. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, my back. What, what happened? Uh, that, that bed. The bar was right in my back. I told you to let us sleep in there. Then you would be hunched over. I don't even know if I can go sleep. Diving. You can't go? So stay home. <laughs> you can go. Without you? That's the whole reason you came down here. Don't go. You sure? Maybe you should see a doctor. We'll stay in a hotel tonight. No, we'll stay in there. Why don't you get a new sofa? <laughs> Nobody uses it. <laughs> I'm buying you a new sofa. Oh, Jerry, don't talk crazy. Mrs. Seinfeld, please. I am begging you. Put the air conditioner on. <laughs> You're hot? I've lost six pounds. I don't even know how to work it. I keep telling her it's like an oven in here. Okay, you all set? You got your story? No. When the cops stopped me, I told them that I was rushing home because my friend was about to commit suicide. Now, you're that friend. All we need is a reason why you were going to commit suicide. I never had an air conditioner. No, that's no reason to kill yourself. Why? It gets hot at night, you can't sleep. You ever try to sleep in a really hot room? Every night I sleep in a really hot room. I don't want to kill myself. Well, I've slept in really hot rooms, and I wanted to kill myself. No, 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 that's not going to work. Something else. I was never able to become a banker. Banker? So you're killing yourself because your dreams of becoming a banker have gone unfulfilled. You, 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 you can't live without being a banker. Yeah, yeah. If I can't be a banker, I don't want to live. You must be a banker. You must be a banker. Okay, we'll go with the banker story. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. What? Jane's topless. <laughs> yo, yo, ma. Boutros, Boutros, golly. Nice rack. Come on, you guys. You can come and see the baby now. Oh, uh, in a minute, Carol. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be right up. This is weird, wild stuff. George hasn't even seen her yet. Why do you think we're getting the sneak preview? Well, maybe she's trying to create a buzz. <laughs> What? You know, get some good word of mouth going. Oh, here she comes. Uh, I'm thirsty. Anyone want a drink? <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, I'm good. Hey, you got the tea <laughs> All right, 
show's over. I'm going to the For everybody? Yeah, and they're fresh. Right out of the ocean. <laughs> this is fantastic. Man, what a weekend. Swimming, lobster for dinner. <laughs> I know, it's great. I saw Jane Topless. <laughs> you saw who? What? Yeah, I saw Jane Topless. Well, we all saw her. You saw Jane topless? Well, when you went for the tomatoes, she lied out topless. Oh, you mean face down on a chest? No. <laughs> face up on her back? Yeah. Well, why'd she do that? Well, I guess she was hot. <laughs> you mean she just laid there topless? No, no, she got up, she walked around. Yeah. Walked around? And you looked? Of course, she's got a great body, buddy. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'll be right back. Huh? I can't believe that you saw her before me. Think of me as a doctor. Well, how good a look did you get? Well, what do you mean? Well, if she was a criminal and you had to describe her to a police sketch artist, they'd pick her up in about 10 minutes. Great, great. So anytime you want, you can just visualize her naked. I guess that's true. Stop it, stop it. This is not fair, it's not fair. I don't like this situation, Jerry. I don't like it one bit. But what do you want me to do? You want to see Rachel naked? Yes, yes. Yeah, right. The punishment should fit the crime. You can see me naked, I could offer you that. It's like I'm Neil Armstrong. I turn around for a sip of tang, and you jump out first. You got me the air conditioner? What do you think? Beautiful. Yeah. What air conditioner? Well, my buddy works in an appliance store, and he got us 30% off. Is it a good one? Good one. It's a Commando 8. <laughs> Commando 8? 12,000 BTUs. I thought you hated air conditioning. You've never had an air conditioner. Yeah, but Amy likes air conditioning. Oh. Ah. Oh, you're getting an air conditioner for Amy. Amy doesn't like the temperature up here. She's a little hot. <laughs> Look, I think I'm gonna go. Why? It's really hot in here. Uh, so we can still go out on uh, Friday, though? Yeah. When are you getting an air conditioner? It, it's coming. Uh, it's a Commando 8. 12,000 BTUs. <laughs> it's gonna be like a meat locker in here. <laughs> Look at the window. 12,000 BTUs of raw cooling power, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Installed. That, that's it. You don't have to screw it in or anything. Oh, no, just plug it in and the Commando 8 does the rest. I'll seal it up later, all right? Yeah. Just in time for Amy. Oh, yeah. When are you going to execute that plan? The air conditioner! I think it got the talk. Boy, I'm getting a good sweat here. Great sweat. Good beads. Nice beads. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Silicon Valley. <laughs> oh, uh, so anyway, we go out on one date, and he asked me out for a second, and then out of nowhere, he calls me, cancels the date, and says he doesn't want to see me again. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. I, I couldn't help overhearing. Oh, that's okay. Did he give you a reason? Yeah, he's going back to his old girlfriend. Really? He said she's mentally ill. <laughs> he's one of those guys who is obsessed with neatness and order. Everything has got to be just so. He would have made a great Nazi. <laughs> hey, does he ever talk about Superman? Yes, how did you know? Oh, I knew the type. Oh, so you can relate? Oh, yeah. You know, I've seen you around the club. My name's Sidra. This is Marcy. Oh, hi. I'm Elaine. Hi. Jerry, you gotta give him some credit. 
I mean, you're just being totally ridiculous. I'll see you later, buddy. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What? What? Do I have to ask? Well, I ran out of butter, so I had to borrow yours. Anything else, Mr. Nosy? Why are you buttering your face? I'm shaving with it. Oh, Moses, smell the roses. Oh, Jerry, it's vastly superior to any commercial shaving cream. I mean, the shave is close and clean, and the natural emollients keep my skin silky smooth. Now, feel my face. No. No, feel it. I don't want to. Feel it. Feel it. That is close. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Newman. You know, old friend, sometimes I ponder this silly gulf between us. And I say, why? Are we really so different? For what is- I'm not the one doing the cooking, Newman. Damn you, Seinfeld. <laughs> you useless pustule. <laughs> oh, somebody's got something on the griddle. Maybe it's Kramer. No, he's up on the roof getting some sun with the butter. Oh, no. <laughs> butter? <laughs> Kramer. Oh, man, I think I cooked myself. <laughs> Look at your skin. Oh, stick a fork in me, Jerry. I'm done. <laughs> I'm fried. Well, technically, you're sautéed. So what are you doing for that? Well, I just got to keep my skin moist so I don't dry out. Is that what the doctor said? I read an article in Bon Appetit magazine. Yeah. <laughs> see. Yeah. Hey, hey buddy. how you doing? Hmm, <laughs> game hen? Kind of. How much longer are you gonna be? I'm starving here. Well, just a few more squirts. Because I gotta stay juicy. That smell. It's still with you, huh? Well, yeah, it's baked on in. Hey, put another stick of butter in. Yeah, yeah. Would you? Yeah. Stir it up so, so it'll melt. Right. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> that feels good. And yeah, now I'm simmering. I'll meet you at the coffee shop. <laughs>